What is going on? It is Obscurus Tourist here and well I am in Niagara again. The home of haunted weird and old things. So I thought I would make a visit to the Meriton Tunnel today also known as the Blue Ghost Tunnel. One of the most haunted places supposedly haunted in all of the Niagara region and today I got my my good buddy Brett because I'm a little scared to go into the tunnel alone. So he's here for moral support. And if a monster appears, it'll get him first. Smart thinking. Anyway, let's go to the tunnel. Not really sure what these signs once directed you to, but as you can see, this road has long been abandoned. So we will continue our, our walk. So just over on to the left of the road, it's one of the seaway barriers for the Welland Canal. Totally dry riverbed right now, so interesting. We'll see what we get when we get inside the train tunnel. Well, we're walking down some paths, hoping that this leads us to the Blue Ghost Tunnel, though I'm not really sure. Hard place to find on the map. But since we're here, hey Brett. Hey. What do you uh, what do you think of ghosts? Are you are you a believer or a non-believer? Um, I'm a however I feel in the moment type of guy. Hmm. So if those hairs stand up on the back of my neck, I could be swayed. Interesting. I think I'm the same way. Though I tend to veer into the believing even when I probably shouldn't. I see. So we'll, we'll see if, we'll see whose hairs stand on the back of our necks first. We shall. So you can kind of see the... The tunnel over there. Through the thickets. But this way is not going to be the way. Pretty steep incline and it's muddy so Brett and I we're gonna have to find another way around. Are you confident? I'm confident. Good. Now before we go in let me fill you in on the history because it really is quite interesting. Built in 1876 the Meriton Tunnel now sits between locks 18 and 19 of the former Third Welland Canal, hence why that riverbed I showed you earlier was actually dry. Now the tunnel was built using Queenston limestone and spans a total length of 713 feet. It took hundreds and hundreds of men armed with picks and shovels, as well as several horses to excavate the tunnel. Once completed, it was used periodically until 1915, when the last official train passed through its limestone walls. Many tragedies have occurred here over the years, and several fatal accidents happened during the construction and use of the tunnel and the railway running through it. In 1875, a 14-year-old boy was killed when he was crushed under a large rock and on January 3rd, 1903, two firemen actually died in a head-on collision approximately a third of a mile from the western entrance of the tunnel. An astonishing number of men were killed here during construction, and in fact it's been recorded that a total of 100 and seven men lost their lives building this place. And it's exactly that sort of sordid history that has helped fuel ghost stories from those who've dared to enter its hallowed walls. 
Now, I previously stated that this is considered to be one of the most haunted places in the entire Niagara region. And over the decades, many people who've entered have reported hearing voices, experienced cold spots, and have even recounted stories of being physically pushed by something. There have even been reports of people seeing a blue ghost within its limestone walls, and it is this very apparition for which the Blue Ghost Tunnel name has been bestowed upon this place. Okay, seriously, who is that woman? She is terrifying. Well, we managed to make it down safely, though it was still muddy. But here we are, and there she is, just on the right here. And wow, absolutely terrifying. An entrance truly befitting of the legend that surrounds what's inside. Truth be told, I have actually been here before. I was here around, uh, around a decade ago with a couple friends and we ventured inside. We only made it about halfway before hightailing it out of there. Just really, really spooky vibes. Anyway, let's take a peek inside. And yep, just as creepy as I remember it from all those years ago. These down here are the original railway ties. Goes to show good ingenuity will last you a long time. Got some good old fashioned graffiti on the tunnel. Come to these places, you just, you know to expect them. Who are you gonna call? Well, who else? Ghostbusters. I'm afraid of no ghosts. And if you're looking for a little fun, perhaps, some ghost mushrooms will get you there. I don't think those are the uh, mushrooms, the fun ones though, right? The fun guy? Well, all mushrooms are fun guy, but these aren't the, the specifically fun ones I'm talking about. Ghost ones, nonetheless. So these right here are the original supporting columns pretty interesting that they've been able to survive all these years almost over over 120 years for sure and it looks like they actually have been reinforced somewhat over the years but uh, interesting nonetheless someone doesn't like Connor who's Connor Conspiracy theories belong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A nice. Before the internet. This looks like this is about as far as we can go. It is flooded and the ceiling is really leaking up there. Something fierce. I wouldn't be surprised if this tunnel collapsed within the next 
couple decades. So I think it's time to go back. And you know what, Brett? We didn't see any ghosts. Oh uh, yeah. Did uh, any of your hair stand up on the back of your heads? Some hair stood up. It wasn't back here. Oh boy. <laughs> and if you walk about 10 minutes south of the Blue Ghost Tunnel, you come across this. One of the locks of the Welland Canal. And this is actually, I'm not really sure if this is a lock 17 or lock 18, or even if it's still in use today, but there she is. And right by the lock here, it looks to be a continuation of this abandoned road. And it looks like there was once a bridge that crosses this waterway. I have no idea what waterway this is, so I'm not even going to pretend. But it is feeding the locks. And this is what's on the other side that we weren't able to get to. Inside the train tunnel. The flooded side empties out further downstream of this. So probably a good idea that we didn't continue our journey. That's an ominous warning. Danger. When siren sounds, beware of large wave. Huh. Noted. And just across from this lock, someone up on the cliff side there looks to be living their best life. That's where I'd be. Oh, and look at what this is just over here. Something I was expecting to find earlier. It is some penis graffiti. An old friend, a real classic when I come on these adventures. Well, unfortunately, we weren't able to...